INAF7 brought some new flying feature that are smiling to Mavic fly experience. Do you think INAF can achieve the result in the next INAF release? And the answer is that both yes and no. A lot of features that are available for the Mavic users uh, can be done uh, based on the INAF. However, the INAF will always suffer from, let's say, three major problems connected with the fact that the, this is an open source. Problem number one is that it is an open source and that means that it's not funded. At least majority of the open source projects are not really funded. You cannot really invest money into development of a feature because there are no money. Features are created and are written and are tested and deployed and developed only when someone decides like, oh, I'm bored, like, oh, I will do something. I, I will write some amazing feature for INAP. This is how it happens. You cannot really like force open source developer to do something because 99.999% of them are just not paid. And if they are not paid, you cannot expect anything. Second problem is that Mani Mavic flies as amazingly as it flies. Uh, we can discuss this thing. Uh, mainly because, um, also because uh, they have access to sensors and the technology that uh, are just not uh, reachable for the open source and uh, everyday pilots. Like, have you ever tried tried to get a good LiDAR sensor with the good uh, resolution to be able to have the exact uh, height over the ground. Super hard. There are small, like those small from STM that has the range of one meter. You can go with, for example, the TF Mini from uh, Ben Awake, but then this thing is much bigger, much heavier. It's hard to fit it on your FPV drone. Everything is complicated. And, the ca and then there's the issue of the camera and the gimbal. Like you cannot, <laughs> there are no small cheap cameras that you can replace the camera on the Mavic. The 99% of the features from the Mavic are coming from the camera like the amazing cameras they, and the amazing gimbals they put over there the final reason that gives the dji uh, flying thing is a huge advantage is that you do not have to tune the drone comes set up and tuned from the factory that means usually well tuned uh, usually even fantastically tuned for the for everything every drone is exactly the same uh, flight controller knows exactly what are the characteristics they were tuned by the professionals not by people People that are not really that proficient in terms of tuning the flight control controllers to fly the drones they are just pre-tuned from the factory so you just go there buy them and they fly in case of your own build you have to be tuning and you have to put you can put different components different propellers different motors different frames everything can be different and then the flight controller has to be precisely tuned to really fly amazing and this is also the huge problem and the advantage from the ready-made drones ready-made drone can be flying can be flying fantastically straight from the factory for the do-it-yourself drone you're the factory and this complicates uh, things uh, a lot